Mayo steak time, baby. So first thing you do is get your ribeyes ready, then use your favorite seasoning. I like to go with salt, pepper, garlic, just kind of a basic thing. Very light on the mayo. You have to be careful not to scrape the seasoning off. That's why I like to let the seasoning sit for a few minutes, really absorb into the meat before you put that mayo coating on there. You can use any grill. The most important thing is super, super high heat. You can see here I'm using an infrared heat gas grill because this thing gets 1800 degrees. That's the key to making this work. If you want that mayo steak to taste good, you have to get this grill as hot as it will can go. 1800 degrees does that all day, baby. So now we're gonna let it rest a minute each side. We're gonna let it rest for 10 minutes. Now this is the key with the mayo steak. So we have a nice medium rare on the inside and then a crispy, crunchy, delicious crust on the outside. And because it's seared, everything's staying super nice and juicy. One of my favorite, favorite ways to cook a ribeye. You can see I'm pumped.